Hello friends, so here is another question on full wave rectifier. So the question is that a 230 volt 60 hertz voltage you know, supply voltage is applied to the primary of a 5 is to 1 step down transformer. Turns ratio is 5 is to 1, which is center tapped used in a full wave rectifier having a load resistance of 900 ohms. If the diode resistance and the secondary coil resistance together is 100 ohm, then determine the following things. First, the DC voltage across the load, the DC current flowing through the load, the DC power delivered to the load, peak inverse voltage across each diode, ripple voltage and its frequency, rectification efficiency. Okay, so there is no circuit diagram given so we have to draw the circuit diagram ourselves using the data which is given first the supply voltage 230 volt and 60 hertz frequency rms value 230 volt then we have the primary winding and then the secondary winding okay so it is center tapped so here it is turns ratio is 5 is to 1 2 diodes each having the forward resistance and the secondary coil resistance together combined is equal to 100 ohm. Then we have the load resistance which is equal to this. Okay, this one. So here the load resistance is equal to how much? It is given 900 ohm. This is D1, this is D2. Okay, this. So, here first we have to determine the secondary value of the secondary winding voltage. So turns ratio is NP by NS, which is equal to 5 by 1. We know that the turns ratio is related with the primary winding voltage and the secondary winding voltage Vp by Vs which goes for RMS values and maximum values also. Here RMS value is given so we will be using the same ok this is 5 this is 1 ok here it is how much 230 RMS value we have to determine Vs RMS so Vs RMS is simply equal to 230 by 5 which is equal to 46 volt okay this one is 46 volt and the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage is equal to 46 to root 2 okay which is equal to 65 volt okay this 65 volt ok so here the secondary winding voltage maximum value is 65 volt which gets divided equally here 32.5 here also 32.5 volt which is the maximum value of the center tap winding which is equal to 32.5 volts which is very important now <clears throat> first we have to determine the DC value of the center tapped winding voltage okay the DC value of the center tapped winding voltage which is equal to 2 VCT max by pi is equal to 2 into 
0.5 by pi okay and that is equal to it is coming around 2 into 20.7 volt this is the DC value of the center tap winding voltage now we have to determine the current flowing through the load resistance okay the DC value of the current flowing through the load resistance now we know that in a center tap rectifier at any given point of time during the positive half cycle or the negative half cycle only one of the diode conducts is open uh, is uh, short circuited and conducts and the other one is open circuited and does not conduct so as a result a current flows through the load resistance now this current here taking into account both the load resistance and the secondary and forward resistance together that DC value of the load current is equal to VCT DC the DC value of the center tap winding voltage and the total resistance that is secondary winding resistance forward resistance plus load resistance that is equal to 20.7 by 100 plus 900 ohms this is volt this is ohms and that is equal to 20.7 milliampere okay this that is the DC current flowing through the load this is the DC current flowing through the load now the DC voltage across the load B L D C is simply I L D C multiplied with load resistance that is equal to 20.7 milliampere into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere multiplied with the load resistance which is equal to 900 ohm and that is equal to 18.63 volt that is VL DC the DC voltage across the load now the DC power delivered to the load okay the DC power delivered to the load is simply equal to IL DC whole square multiplied with the load resistance that is equal to 20.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square into 900 and that is equal to it is coming around 0 0.386 watts okay that is DC power delivered to the load now we have to determine the uh, ripple voltage okay the ripple voltage across the output so for that we will take this okay the DC value of the output or load voltage VLDC is equal to 18.63 volt now we know that VDC is equal to for full wave rectifiers it is 2 V max by pi okay so here VLDC is equal to 2 VL max by pi the maximum voltage across the load that implies VL max is equal to 18.63 into pi by 2 same we are just using the same formula so the maximum voltage across the load VL max is equal to 18.63 into pi by 2 which is equal to it is coming 29.2 25 volt from this we will get the RMS value of the load voltage okay VL RMS so that is equal to so the RMS value here is equal to uh, max by root 2 which is equal to 29.25 by root 2 volts which is equal to 
six eight volt. So here, the ripple voltage formula is equal to V RMS square minus V DC square root over. Okay. So this will be equal to the RMS value twenty point six eight whole square minus eighteen point six three whole square, which is the DC value. Okay, the DC value here is eighteen point six three volt, and the RMS value is twenty point six eight volt. Okay, root over, which is equal to it is coming nine point zero two volt. Okay, this and for full wave rectifiers, the output frequency is equal to twice of the input signal frequency. Why? Because in full wave rectifiers, current conducts during both. the positive and negative half cycles that's why pulsating dc output it appears during both the positive and negative half cycles okay this is the input alternating and this is the output pulsating dc okay so here the output is 2 into 60 hertz which is equal to 120 hertz the output frequency is twice of the uh input frequency okay so this is one complete input waveform from here to here and during that duration the output this is for input and during that duration we have two complete output waveforms pulsating dc outputs so here it is twice of the input signal frequency which is 120 hertz then for rectification efficiency which is basically the ratio of output dc to input ac powers so that is basically equal to i dc square into rl and here it is i rms square into here rs plus rf plus rl this so for that we have to determine the rms value of the current we have already determined the dc value okay il dc is 20.7 milliampere okay IL DC is equal to twenty point seven milliampere. Now we know that DC value for full wave rectifier is equal to two IL max by pi. Okay, that is equal to two IL max by pi. That implies IL max is equal to twenty point seven. Into pi by two. That is equal to thirty-two point four nine nine milliampere. It is okay. That is the maximum value. RMS value is equal to maximum value by root two. So here IL RMS is equal to IL max by root two, which is equal to thirty-two point four nine. We can write it as thirty-two point Five also the same thing, so thirty-two point five uh, milliampere by root two, that is equal to. It is coming around. Calculate. It is coming around twenty-two point nine eight milliampere, almost equal to twenty-three milliampere. Okay, this. Now, AC input power P AC is equal to. I L R M S whole square into R S plus R F plus R L. 
Now it is mentioned in the question that the secondary winding resistance and the diode resistance together is 100 ohm. So here it is equal to 22.98 or you can use 23 milliampere, same thing. 22.98 into power minus 3 whole square into RS plus RF is 100 ohm plus RL is equal to 900 ohm. And that is equal to how much? It is coming around 0 0.528 watts. And the DC power is, we have already calculated, PLDC or DC, it is 0 0.386 watt. PDC is 0. 386 watts. Okay, this is output DC, this is input AC, rectification efficiency will be equal to 0 0.386 by 0 0.528 watts watts is equal to it is coming around 0 0.731 which is equal to 73.1% okay so uh, see uh, normally the rectification efficiency is 81.2% but in some cases it, it fluctuates around that like uh, in we have also solved questions related to half wave rectifier where the normal rectification efficiency is 40.6% Okay, for half wave rectifier, but we have had results like solving questions where it fluctuates from 30, you know, 30 to sometimes we get values of 33 percent like that. Here also it is the same. Normally it is 81.2 percent, 81 percent around, but sometimes you get results like this. Okay, so this is the rectification efficiency. Okay. So here we have solved all the parameters, okay.